what's going on guys? My dad wanted to do some stuff to do a little sightseeing, not sightseeing. So right now we're going to Pasadena, an area in Pasadena. Um, my dad actually grew up in California for a little while when he was younger. I did not grow up here, Nikki. Okay. We would come out here during the summer, during World War II, and take care of my Joyce's, you know, my Ronnie, okay? Okay. When she was working in the defense factory. And we'd stay out here when school got out, you know, in, in, in May in Minnesota. And we'd stay here until September. But one time I went back in October, that's when I went to that Longfellow School for about two months. Okay. Then, then came back at Christmas time back to Minnesota and then finished there. So you can't accuse me of being raised out here in California. Well, I wasn't. That's not what I meant. Use the that you stayed out here for a little road. while. Yeah, for East Exit what? during Pasadena. Then keep left at the floor. While you were growing up. While my dad was growing up, he yes, stayed in California I'm for a little while. <laughs> Okay, I didn't mean to accuse my dad of being raised in California, but we're going to see the house where my dad's brother lived and my dad stayed in while he was out here and the school that he went to for a little while while he was out here not being raised. And here's the school that my dad used to go to, Longfellow <laughs> Elementary School. Right there. Your destination is on the right. It's crazy things stick around for so many years. Cool. Do you want me to pull over and try to park? Or? No. So my dad, Iris, and I are back at the Descanso Gardens. We're a member now, so we can come wherever. My dad wanted to get in a workout today by walking, and since it's hot outside and the area that John and I live in is, there's a lot of hills, we decided to come to the gardens and get a pretty view and walk on some flat ground. John is at the gym. He has a basketball game today. So my dad and I are just gonna get our workout like this. Oh, I smell the flowers again. We just entered, oh my, the air smells so good. It just, it's, it smells like perfume when you walk right in. The flowers are so strong smelling. The beautiful tulip garden. We're gonna go a different way this time because I believe there were parts of the garden that we didn't explore the first time we were here. Iris, you know, it's not too sunny. We can put this down. There's some overcast. Put that down. So now you can look around. You can look at all the flowers before you take a nap, Iris. Sounds kind of funny when I say it, doesn't it? Look at the flowers, Iris. <laughs> oh, there's a train. We have tickets for this train, actually. It's called like the Enchanted Train Ride. And when we signed up for our membership, we got a bunch of tickets to take it. Could I, well, I guess I could have Iris sitting on my lap and go on there sometime. Whew. So many pretty flowers. So up here, they have a bird observation station. This is something that we didn't look at last time. Oh, cool. I see a big white bird at the end of the pond. Let me zoom in. I'll be able to see it better with the zoom too. Is that a goose? A goose. Oh my gosh, look at all these turtles, you guys. Oh, this is just my 2000. So many turtles! That's a lot of turtles. A lot of turtles. Hello, ducks! Oh my gosh, some little kid came up here and said, Look at the turtles, look at the birds. These are the animals we kill. These are the creatures we kill. I was like, oh my god, creepiest kid award goes to. Turtle, 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 turtle. Turtle. Turtle, turtle. Okay, so we just walked around the lake and we're kind of doing a loop de loo back. We didn't see these cactuses yesterday up here. So we thought we would walk by them. And here they are. There's a little cactus garden. Iris slept pretty much the whole walk again. So we went home and picked up John and now we're gonna grab a slice of pizza at this place that we really like. They have really good 
thin crust New York style pizza that's delish. John's playing with his daughter. She woke up. How was your basketball game? Good. Yeah? yeah. You had fun? Yeah, we lost though. That's for eight points. You have won before? Yeah. Two and two. Oh, four cool. games. Everyone makes the playoffs, so it's not a big deal. But there's one or two teams that are just really good. They like run plays and like good warm up drills. Yeah. Pick up basketball. Yeah. So where they'll probably win. But yeah, I don't know. It's good just to get back into it. I think we have a we have like a I'm on a free agent team, so they take all the people that are free agents and put them together. But I think we like there's probably five or six of us that are will form a team next time around. Cool. Yeah. Did you enjoy the gardens again, Dad? Yes, I did. You had a good time? Yes. Good. We can go back again. Well, i got to get my legs used to those hills. It's mm -hmm. a nice place to walk. Yeah, it is. We'll leg. probably go there a lot now, you and I. So today, someone tweeted me a screenshot of their TV of Caitlin on the Dr. Phil show in the audience, and it said, oh my gosh, is this my Nikita Banana 88's friend, Caitlin? And yeah, it sure is. And I'm cracking up. Caitlin went and was in the audience for Dr. Phil. She loves Dr. Phil. I know. Caitlin loves Dr. Phil. And they got a reaction shot of her right here. <laughs> But Caitlyn just would give the best audience reaction shots. She gets, she's probably so emotionally invested in the show. They probably had a producer on her the entire time with the camera, <laughs> just watching her faces. Mmm, our slices of pizza are here. I got some weird concoction that the girl working made up. It's like chicken, tomatoes, pesto, onions, it's good. basil. Yeah, it looks good. It's good. John got the classic pepperoni and cheese. Dad made something up with mushrooms and sausage, onions. Right now we're running out to North Hollywood because my dad and his group of friends back in Minnesota know this new, this guy who they were all friends with too and he, the last known address he had was in North Hollywood and everyone's kind of wondering what happened to him. So we're, my dad wants to go knock on the door of the address that he had for him and see if he still lives there. And if he does, they're gonna reconnect. Oh, Iris. Well, my dad's friend wasn't there, but since we are in North Hollywood, we're gonna stop by our P.O. box and see if we have any more fan mail. And there's our mail. Mm, got a couple packages, huh? Yep. While we're having a little family dinner here, we've got potatoes, chicken, peppers, Aphrodite, and Iris is holding her bottle. It's kind of exciting. Look at you go, little girl! She's eating all on her own. Yeah, cool, huh? Iris handed it to her and she took it. Yeah. I was like, all right, I get to eat then. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. It was fun to go out and see where my dad's sister lived in California and where my dad went to school for a little bit. I have actually never met my dad's siblings or my grandparents on my dad's side, his parents. The ages are all spread up. You know, my dad had me when he was 52 years old and then his siblings were 20 something years older than him. So it was cool to hear those stories um, about how my dad lived out here in California and then we had fun walking around the Descanso Gardens again and going out to North Hollywood actually what happened is the reason my dad's old friend wasn't there is because it, he passed away we found out it turns out my dad just missed him by a few weeks his fa that was his residence his family was still there but Sadly, he had passed away and my dad's, you know, my dad's doing okay. It was just a bummer, you know, and I'm sorry to end this vlog on a bummer note, but that's what happened. We're still going to enjoy the rest of the time that my dad is out here. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.